State Senator Jamal Bailey's district office on 233rd Street in the Wakefield section of the Bronx was the scene for his now second annual community barbecue. Last year I did an open house and I did a, com a barbecue combined with the open house and I figured people really enjoyed it, they liked it, so we figured let's do it bigger and better and bring even more people, more food, more fun, more games and more services for the people to enjoy. The senator's constituents and fellow Bronx leaders came out in support of the young senator, now in his second year in office, for food, fun, and fellowship. We are celebrating the leadership of Jamal Bailey, who's been fantastic as our state senator. He exemplifies everything that we're looking for in, in democracy, in politics, in government. What he did in his short time that many of the other senators did not do. And he's moving fast, and he's trying to change things. Several major political players were on deck for today's festivities, including Governor Cuomo, who sang the praises of Senator Bailey and his work in the Bronx. Bronx is almost back to where it was in terms of population. It's just a few hundred from being at an all-time high. So a lot to celebrate, a lot to enjoy, uh, and uh, it's just my pleasure to be here. And I want to applaud the senator for all the good work that he's doing. The annual event comes on the heels of the announcement from Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark's office of the indictments of the 12 men accused of the June 20th murder of 15-year-old Lisandro Jr. Guzman Feliz in the Belmont section of the Bronx. We weren't able to get those 12 people without the help of the community. It was a real collaboration between the DA's office, the NYPD, and the community. Bringing the community together for events such as this one is one way elected officials hope to grow that sense of family while expressing their gratitude to their constituents. This is really about the family and about the village, and it's really important to just bring communities together to say thank you. Thank you for what you're doing to support elected officials. We're in this together. We are the village, and we want to just say thank you. The more we can come together as brothers and sisters, the better off we are as a community. The more we galvanize together, a unified community, nothing can stop it. Reporting for BronxNet, I'm Naomi Yanni.